Yo, Joe Sexton here from Fat Loss Master Chef and the School of Weight Loss. So, this is a quick video about why someone else is getting, ex uh, getting big results and why you're not. Basically, it comes down to excuses, and most people have got a thousand excuses, and that's the thing that's stopping them getting big results. So, we're going to look at a couple of scenarios. Basically, you stop, you work a 9 to 5 job, so you get up at, say, 7 o'clock. You get up, you haven't really got time for a healthy breakfast, so what you do is you just uh, grab some cereal and go off to work. That's one of the excuses by saying, I haven't got time in the morning to eat breakfast. Whereas this person who's getting results, she gets up five minutes earlier. She realizes that if she gets up five minutes earlier, she can make something like an omelette. She can throw things like spinach, lean bacon, and some more greens in, which again, it's going to be packed full of lean proteins from your eggs and your lean bacon or whatever. And from like your spinach, you're going to get a lot of nutritionally dense greens. So where you crash at 11 o'clock, she doesn't because she's had a breakfast that nutritionally satisfying her body. You're having some cereal that one's going to store on a weight loss, a store body fat, and two, it's going to make you crash come 11 o'clock and it's the thing that makes you hungry. So it gets to dinner time and you grab a sandwich because, again, there's no way, one of the excuses is there's no way at work that does healthy food. What she done last night is, the person who's getting results, she made an extra meal the night before for my tea and she's having it for lunch the next day. So where you're grabbing a sandwich, because again, there's nothing healthy to eat, she's tubbed up some food, and she's having the healthy meal she made last night for our lunch again. So again, you feel bad, it gets to 3 or 4 o'clock, all you want to do is go home and go to sleep. What happens is, you get home, and then you hit your next excuse. I've got no money to go to the gym, I've got no money to join an exercise class. You don't need money, guys. All you need to do is either want look online for some exercise videos, that you can find millions on YouTube, I, even I post some free workouts up. Or two, go for a run. Do some bodyweight squats. There's a million different movements you can find online which you can make your own little workout. So what happens is, you make that excuse that you've got no money, so you don't work out whatsoever. That person who gets big excuses, finds a video online, finds a sample workout, or goes for a run. She works hard, you're already on the sofa. So what happens when you do have money is, you both go to the gym, you're on the treadmill, you're both jogging, and there's that little voice in the back of your head that tells you you're tired, tells you that you feel sick, and tells you that you don't want to do it anymore. So here's where the magic really happens. Either you quit, you get tired, you think, I don't like this, and you stop. You go and sit on the bike and take it easy. Whereas that person who gets results, she puts her head down, and then minutes after that, that's where the magic really happens in a workout. That time where you're tired and you feel like you're going to quit, you've got to keep going at that point, guys. So, so far, all them excuses, basically you've got no time, there's no way healthy to eat, or you've got no money, you can get around them. People get around them all the time. Or at the end of the day, all the odds excuses, and you put boundaries up because... I think that you like the idea. Basically, you like the idea of fat loss and looking good and feeling good more than actually going out and doing it. And one more again when it comes to weekends and all your friends are going out or you're getting takeaways. What she does is she doesn't want to feel horrible all weekend. So she has a weekend in and tells her friends that she's staying in. It might be a boring weekend, but come Sunday or come Monday, she's going to feel amazing. She might go out the next weekend, but going out every weekend and Again, it's just one of them excuses. All you've got to say is no. It's as simple as saying, I'm staying in this weekend. So, get up earlier. Be prepared for lunch. If you've got no money, go out for a run. You don't need any, you don't need any money to exercise. And on weekends, don't make that an excuse. Don't say all oh, your friends, go out, stay in. It's literally that simple. So guys, if you want results, you've got to make changes. You've got to stop these excuses. And then maybe you will start feeling good. Maybe you'll stop being that person who posts on Facebook on a Monday saying, I hate life, I feel horrible, I want to go back to bed. Right guys, I want you to smash it. I've been Joe Sexton, have fun.